<laughs> I'm going to be honest, I've got no interest in the first day of a release. I'm milking it Gmail style. It's going to be alpha for like the next 10 years. It's going to be using that label so long, like people are going to get sick of it. Like, it. It was originally called Pre Alpha because it was like, no, seriously, don't use this. You're like, your hard drive will explode. Mm hmm. If assuming that the kernel supports it, um, <laughs> if that happens, like if we remembered it in the K config, definitely going to be obliterated. <laughs> uh, to me, like it felt very, very early, very, very rough in the pre alphas because it was, to be quite blunt. Um, with the alpha series at the moment, um, only really looking at one or two more alphas because a lot has changed. So we deliberately focused on. Basically, mostly the GNOME desktop, making that work well and the operating system around it before we start expanding the repo. Mm -hmm. um, we have got roadmaps of things that we want done, but what we're trying to do is decouple the ISO versioning from the rest of the OS. So okay. there's never going to be a one point anything. There's going to be the zero point series, and then we're going to start at two because I'm a massive troll. I, I, uh, semantic versioning just fucks my head mm -hmm. like, completely so I was like I'm going to have some weird kind of timestamp type thingy that's also linked to the MOS format version mm -hmm. which I also made version 0 and I thought I don't want to give any sort of stability ideas around a version of it because right. I've worked with a Mozilla codebase for way too fucking long so I decided I was going to just like bump straight to version 2 yeah there's a lot of people who so there's misunderstand there's never going to be a 1 yeah well, but, uh, look, I like the way the kernel does versioning, which is when the number is too big and Linus doesn't have enough fingers left, he just bumps the number. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like, the 2.6 days were long. Yeah, they were. <laughs> yeah, they were. Really? What was it, like, was seven, eight years? Long. Some stupid amount of time? And then I ended up... I remember going from the 2.4 to the 2.6. I was on Slackware back then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A bricked Lilo, HDA got absorbed into Libada, so it was SDA one on reboot. Except I didn't make it that far because it couldn't find my hard drive anymore. Then I reinstalled Grub, and then it ate it. My my favorite part about the uh, two point six era is it was so long that some stupid developers decided to build in expectations of the kernel would be on two point six into their code, and some software actually did break be when they moved off of it. Nice. Kind of reminds me of all the the checks that I had for Windows. If if the version nine number started with nine, <laughs> that oh, works. God, the, Linux. The, I I'm relatively new to it, but I, I like I've been using Linux for like four or five years at this point. But like I I really mm. do enjoy going back and like looking at some of the the early history that's happened in this space mm. because whilst not everything has been archived. A lot of it has, and there's a lot of really early discussions you can go back and see, and just just see that, you know, nobody's ever known what they were doing. <laughs> no. Never. <laughs> I think this is the the world's longest demonstration of the phrase couldn't organise a piss up in a brewery. <laughs> nobody's cracked it yet, like, literally nobody. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> It's, look, you know, things are somewhat more organised than they used to be, but, hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah, well, you, point, know, you know firsthand. No. <laughs> I've just embraced it all now, the way, the way the, because the Linux world has changed a lot in the last few days. I can mm. still remember, I wouldn't say fondly, but mm. I can still remember, like, using barrel pre compass days. <laughs> and I had uh, the Marine RGBA theme. You know, if your if your screen wasn't a rotating fish tank, there was something chronically wrong with your head. You know, like that. That's the way it had to be. Mm -hmm. uh, you had to manually patch Broadcom. To be fair, that's still not fucking changed. <laughs> like, Broadcom does not get any better since even then. And yeah, you had to you had to change your run level if you wanted to install the Nvidia drivers. Uh, this is like pre fucking system D, uh, pre upstart as well. Uh, you know, back to run level three, build drivers uh, if they worked and if they installed, and depending if you was using the right distribution of XORG versus X11, 
that it might work and then you could actually change your edit tab to go back to run level five and hope to fuck it actually came back online. So do you uh, always... The biggest... uh, sorry, go on. No, go on. I was going to say, so do you always find it kind of funny when people say that Linux is hard to use now? You know, it, coming from how long you've been using it for and the, the state it was in when oh, you yeah. were using it then, like, you, you'll still see people now be like, oh, well... It, Linux is hard to use. I have to open a terminal sometimes. And it's just like, what, like once yeah. a week? <laughs> I still remember, and this has gone back a while, gone back even before like the problem of KDE 3.5 days, four days, <laughs> when you had a choice of options in GNOME, which were basically all of the clear looks things. And you had the ugly, horrific pre... I think this was... It was Fedora Core back then. It was FC. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wasn't even Fedora. I think it was Fedora Core back then. I can still remember the little horrific, ugly, ugly little bastard terminal windows with the little blue bars on them. <laughs> People say things have got harder. They haven't. Like, we've got working font support, for one. I don't know if anyone remembers, but if you wanted to have Andy Alias and actually working in fonts a few years ago or subpixel rendering, you had to go and patch free type. That was normal. Like <laughs> Yeah. Pat patents have expired. Like we had to do it in Solus a few years back. You had to install an additional sub package which could be removed if you was like encumbering patents. Uh, you couldn't do MP3s because, again, because of the button. Mm -hmm. um, you'd have to have LibDVD CSS if you wanted to watch the fucking DVD and then hope that it did work. And if you had any of the, the Oak Tech Media drives, then you were screwed because you couldn't find Dev SR0. And I remember all the pains. And now I can just stick a USB into my laptop and then Fedora will say, Nope, I'm not reading it. I've got USB guard. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a separate issue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, e even just in the time that I've been using Linux, things have gotten, you know, things have gotten simpler. The, you don't, like, realistically now, you don't even have to use a terminal to install software. Like, even just that basic thing, most, most desktops and most distro bases have some sort of graphical tool to install all of your software to update all of it and it just works like yes if it goes wrong it'll throw some weird esoteric message at you which mm. for st the way error messages are handled in the graphical tools can be done much better usually what it does is just takes the terminal output and just dump it there um a critical error has occurred reason a critical error far lip deep package triggers yeah, yeah yeah or you have um well my, my favorite example of things where like a, a new user is going to do something wrong is um, during the LTT Linux challenge where Linus nuked the entirety of Pop OS uh, because there was some issue where Steam relied on an older version. I think it relied on like an older version of GNU C or something, and it had to roll back that, which caused every other package on the system to be rolled back, which deleted I... everything. <laughs> Why would you need that? Why would you even need it? Look, I. <laughs> it was a, it, the, the worst that? part about that is it was known about by Pop OS like a month before that happened, and. They just haven't <laughs> fixed it yet. Awkward. <laughs> yeah. So, took the entire C library out. Most of the distro. Yeah. Yeah, just gone. Made it memory safe. <laughs> yeah, you're, <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs>